Welcome to Rock of Ages Media Ministry International Television Program with your host, a Latter-day Apostle, a man with God's vision for today, one who is reaching out to the lost at any cost around the world for Jesus, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Today, we're going to be talking about the full realms of the prophetic. And uh, if you would, turn in your Bibles or just listen attentively to 1 Timothy 4, 14 through 16. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. That means completely to them. That thy profiting may appear to all. We're in a day and time where we need prophecy. We need to hear what thus says the Lord. You know, it's no more time to play church. We got to stand up and be the church of the living God. And so therefore we need sound doctrine. We need a prophetic word straight from heaven, straight from the master's table. And uh, we need to obey it, of course. For don't be hearers only, the Bible says, but be ye doers of his word. The Presbyter is a group uh, of prophets that God may send from church to church to come and bring you a word in season. What thus says the Lord. So it says, don't neglect that word. Receive that word. Meditate on it even. Uh, meditate upon these things. Give thyself holy to them. In other words, meditate on it and give your heart, soul, and spirit, your mind completely to what has been spoken to you. Amen? If you do give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. In other words, you be able to walk in that anointing that has been prophesied unto you you'll be able to walk into it because you meditated on it it has been already uh, predestined to happen and the prophet has revealed it to you so all you have to do is keep meditate on his law day and night and then you will uh, profit from it and everybody will see that anointing upon your life and so he says uh, hallelujah take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee so now God can use you as a vessel of honor amen he can use you as his vessel hallelujah and look at Joel 2 and 28 and it says and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and it says your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions you see that's right, God speaks through dreams and he speaks to visions. So God wants to speak to us through the prophetic anointing. And by the way, there are four realms of the prophetic, four realms. Uh, and you cannot flow in the prophetic without them. You need at least one of these realms in order to flow in the prophetic. The first realm is, is absolutely God and it's found in 2 Peter 20 and 21 and this is called the prophecy 
of the scriptures, the prophecy of the scriptures. Holy men of God, they spoke as they, as they were moved of the Holy Ghost. All biblical revelations. See, when they were moved, they begin to write. And this is how we receive, uh, we have today the Bible. Amen. The uh, Old Testament and the New Testament. Because it had been inspired, inspired from heaven into the holy men of God. And they begin to write. All biblical revelations, Old and New Testament, prophesied. Prophecy of the scriptures is the declaration of the word of God as it was revealed to men. Hmm. And you know, there's four realms of the prophetic as I told you. But this is the only realm that you don't have to judge because it came straight from God. Hallelujah. It contains no mistakes. The Bible contains no mistakes. Amen. No errors. No imperfections. Uh, it contains no human mixture. So let me explain a little bit better. Amen. Why that it may appear to have imperfections, yet it is still perfect. It is still with no errors, no imperfections, and no human mixture. 